Hey everybody, welcome back to the Leaf Nuts channel. Today I'd like to demonstrate the bypass power functions of the Anchor 767. I'm using my Leaf EVSE. It draws 1440 watts when set to level one through a 110 outlet. You can see I've got the inverter on. Our battery is at 100% and we're outputting 1454 watts. It will maintain that even though it's slightly above uh, the 1440 limit. It'll bounce around between 1430 and 1450. Uh, it'll maintain that pretty much indefinitely. I've run it for hours and hours and hours with no issues. You'll notice that I'm not using the grounding plug. When you're plugged into AC, you don't want to use a grounding plug and it'll charge just fine. Even if the AC power was off in, in the event of a power outage or something like that, you would still have the ground from that plug and you would not need your grounding plug. Make sure you don't use both at the same time. Now I'm gonna run the battery down to 99% and you'll see what the behavior is of the charger when it's trying to charge the battery and push full load at the same time. Once the battery drops to 99%, the PV kicks back on and tries to make up the load and recharge the battery but of course it can't keep up with the AC output of the LEAF EVSE, so the battery would continue to drop. We're running in inverter mode now instead of bypass mode because the power, the AC power is still off, but it doesn't need a grounding plug because the cord is still plugged in. So I'm gonna turn the AC power back on and you'll see what happens. So you'll notice that the PV input immediately stopped. The AC input took over, but it's exceeding the 1440 watts. So it'll run this above its bypass limit for a minute or two, and then the whole thing will fall out, which I'll let you watch that. and it makes an audible click when it does it. And you'll see the lights go off on the EVSE because the inverter will shut down. But it does maintain this for a period of time, a minute or two before it shuts down. So the 1440 watt limit does have some flexibility because it's doing 1513 right now. And there it goes, you'll see the EVC lock knocked off. We get an AC output overload. Uh, so this will stay on the screen for about a, I don't know, a minute or two. And then you'll see the uh, AC input kick back on and could resume charging, but with the inverter or the bypass and the inverter actually off. Hope that helps you understand the bypass limits of the Anchor 767. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.